welcome Taurus to your mid-month reading for January. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Using the Akashic Tarot deck, I'm going to dive deep over here and see what is going on with you. Okay, best message for Taurus in the month of January, please. Message for Taurus, mid month, please. Best message for Taurus at mid month, January. Right there. Oh. Talking about the treasure. Oh. Hidden blessings, my friends. Hidden blessings. I feel that right away. In seriousness, I've never read this card before, but first thing I heard was her hidden blessings. Let's go after that treasure. It's almost like you have the key to the treasure chest. Okay, so clarifying on the treasure, please. This card's not only going to clarify on the treasure, but the entire reading. Patience and planning. It's going to take patience and planning to get there. Um, so let me show you what this card looks like. Almost like he's like, hmm, where's the treasure? Well, it's going to take patience and planning to get there. Um, let's get straight into this situation first before we read that card. Okay. Situations taking place in the present, the near past, and the near future. Fulfillment of wishes coming in. Well, yeah, you got the treasure. Passions ignited. Wow. Shadow in the past. In the near future, you have throat chakra and base chakra. Two chakra cards. So there's not a lot of communication going on, but you're definitely getting your stability and back to your roots. Um, it's kind of like I might have something that needs to be said or somebody might have something that needs to be said, um, but they're not saying it. <laughs> speak up, speak up. Um, but you do have what you have, um, or, you know, definitely stability over here, or wanting it, right? With the shadow card over here, it's like you're getting into your shadow. You have the understanding of what's going on around you. It looks like you went through the pros and cons, and getting to all the things that you need to have the understanding of, of the situation within yourself. Um, yeah, really looking at what needs to be fixed in your life and what you can hold on to. It's kind of like looking at the good versus the evil of your soul, right? So, or the situation, depending on how you're using the shadow card. Shadow card can be used so many different ways, but no matter what, it's digging deep within ourselves. Five of cups. So, digging deep for what is going on. Um, digging deep within yourself to figure out how you're going to get out of this depression. You need to look backwards to see the two of cups. Digging deep within your shadow will make you turn around to see the Two of Cups because of that way you can say, you know what, I don't want to sit over here negative. Um, I really need to let that go and I need to dig deep to figure out how, how I'm going to let that go. Um, what are the important pieces of my life that, you know, allows me to do that? And you have the Seven of Pentacles, same exact card, patience and planning. This is where you dig deep within yourself and say, fine, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to patiently plan all these new ideas and really get deep into a situation um, of what I need. Okay. And building the self-confidence back up. So really, <laughs> it really feels like when you're in shadow mode, you're looking at your depression and then you're looking at the golden sides of yourself saying, you know, I can do this. Um, and that's very good Taurus. Good job. And this helps you take on responsibilities where you didn't have responsibilities before. It gives you the strength to take on more and it's because you're holding on and you are taking back what is yours, um, holding tight to what you have, um, really saving money, um, holding tight to love, whatever it is you're holding tight to. Okay, so take that how it resonates. Uh, with the fulfillment of wishes over here, uh, I'm going to get over here now to the treasure, okay, because now we're at the fulfillment of wishes and I can see that this is where you're headed, right? <clears throat> so the two of keys is talking about... 
that treasure. Now I can see that though too. So it says, represents a great loss or disappointment in your life right now. It could be the loss of a job or relationship or even an opportunity. But remember at this phase is temporary. So that could be why you're holding on so tight because you feel like there's something lost. Okay, so you're trying to find the fulfillment of wishes and that's why you went into shadow mode. So you could still feel that even though you're holding tight to all of this, that there is still something lost with the five of cups. Right, and that's why you're patiently planning. Okay, because you're what? You're trying to find the treasure. You're trying to get to your fulfillment of wishes. Okay, your passion's ignited. Okay, so, but remember in that phase it is only temporary. So it's only temporary. That's why you're holding on so tight to what you already have. So that's a good thing that's only temporary. So if you feel like your money, you know, I have a lot of money over here, is not doing very good right now and you're not getting to where you want to be money-wise or love-wise, it's only temporary. It's not forever. Okay, it might take some time and effort to rally your forces to recover, but there is great treasure within you that is always available. And that's where you're, you've already figured that out though with the shadow side, right? So you're like, okay, fine. So it says the little chest represents... Uh, let's see if I can find it. A little chest. Oh my God, it's hard to see you guys. Anyways, it's under this bed over here. And it's going to be hard to see in this card. I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, there's a little, as you see this little red blanket right here, underneath it is the chest. And look, he's looking down at it. It doesn't look like he's looking down at it. So it doesn't look like he's completely lost. <laughs> kind of looks lost, but he's not completely lost because he is looking at the chest. Okay, so the little chest represents that part of you that is filled with light. Now, here we go. The part of you that's filled with light. That's where you're getting the courage. Okay, so it isn't vulnerable and it can never be lost or damaged. When you focus on what's wrong or what's lacking, it penetrates your senses of emptiness and victimization. So don't let yourself get lost in your loss. Open the lid to your light and let it illuminate your way. There are opportunities and greater wealth waiting for you to discover. So this card actually has everything to do with the shadow card. It's almost the same card in a lot of ways, isn't it? It literally is. Because in seriousness, the shadow is telling you, you have the key to your own side. You just have to get through the pros and cons of what's negative to find the positive. Same with the Five of Cups. You're looking over here, you need to look behind you. So that's nice to know, it's pretty much the same card. <laughs> okay, so yes. So, but it says it's only temporary. So the fulfillment of wishes that you're looking for doesn't mean you won't get to it. It just means that it's lost for now. It feels like a delay, right? A delay, like something's not going right. So you just have to pa patiently plan the rest of what's going on for us. Okay, so the fulfillment of wishes, clarifying the fulfillment of wishes. Yeah, it's kind of like you're fighting for the fulfillment of wishes, um, arguing amongst yourself, um, trying to get there, right? Trying to discover how am I going to get there? What am I missing? What is it that I am doing wrong? And that feels like really what it is. Like, what am I doing wrong? Um, I was doing good at one time and now all of a sudden everything's taken a back seat. I'm confused. I feel this confusion. I, sometimes it makes me think it's because Taurus, they're getting ready. Like the universe is getting ready to like do a kaboom. I just keep getting this feeling out of this reading. Like, okay, look, you were doing good. We know you were doing good. I did the reading last month. I did the reading at the beginning of the month. The beginning of the month was slow. Okay, and last month it was like boom, 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 boom. And now all of a sudden it's super slow. And I just keep thinking there is going to be this combustion. Like, like all of a sudden you just have this real big slowdown. And then all of a sudden, it's just going to like pop. And like you've been holding on to everything. You're doing everything right. And I feel this confusion within you going, what did I do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. 
And I just think the universe is setting you up for something. Whoever this person is, I'm telling you, I am telling you they're setting you up for something. It's like the more you patiently plan, don't get rid of the patiently planning and don't get rid of this energy. Because I'm telling you right now, you're on a positive mood. You've been positive. I don't see this wishy-washiness. I'm telling you, you're going to have a big pop here in a minute. I just feel it. Like the universe is setting you up for something, something huge. It's for the fulfillment of the wishes. It's for the passions ignited. Because you're traveling on the right road. You have the page of wands. You're traveling where you're supposed to be going and you know it. But the sun is just, and you know, I don't even feel like the sun is like totally gloomy. I feel like it's like sideways for you. Some days are a little better than others. It's not completely dark and gloomy, but it's definitely cloudy outside. So we're just going to say it's cloudy outside. Because it's not horrible, but it's not where you want to be. And it's not sunshiny either. It's bleh, hum ho. So I'm making that one sideways. So I'm keeping it sideways. I hope that shows sideways. <laughs> keeping that, actually it looks right side up. I don't know. There, sideways. Yeah, it's definitely sideways because you're not getting the fulfillment of wishes and you're not getting your passions ignited. That's what you want. Yeah, and it just feels like your judgment is against you at this time. Um, oops, sorry, my knee. It just feels like the judgment is against you at this time. You're waiting for this, this horn to blow so you can get this great news. And the news that you get is not even bad. It's, I'm going to put it sideways too because it's not good and it's not bad. Everything around you is hum ho. You might have even gotten news that someone around you is sick. I just want you to know that in the present. Somebody called and said that they're sick. There's something wrong with their head. They have a headache. There's something wrong with their neck, their head. Something's going on. They can't sleep. They have total insomnia. I don't know where that's coming from. And it could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Um, it's not doing good. And that just makes your passions ignited even now. That right there is what really took the turn for you, for whoever that's for. Um, that you're, they can't sleep. They, something about a migraine headache or something or something with the brain. Um, I don't know. Brain, head, neck, insomnia. Um, and they're not doing good. But it wasn't a total 100% bad message. It was just an upsetting message. It, it took you for a loop. And that's coming in or it already came in. Um, it did kind of upset you, though, because you were afraid. It did make you afraid for them because it wasn't the best news. With the death card over here, it did put a little fear into you about their situation. Um, but the good thing is, is the death card is upside down, so don't worry about that. Um, it's just, it just felt like whatever happened to your this person, your loved one, um, it made you feel like, Universe is kind of against you at this time. Um, it did feel a little chaotic and it did make you feel like, <sighs> why is this happening? How could this happen? You wanted their best interest and I think that you're keeping a lot of your passions ignited on this person. I don't know who that's for, but it's keeping you there. So whoever that's for, that's for you. And for others of you, you're just trying your hardest to keep your emotions going, and you are having a little bit of insomnia um, as well, and it could be two in one for you guys. Um, and it's kind of like back to the basics, but you're also wondering why the universe is kind of resisting your upcoming, no matter what. So that's for everybody, no matter what. <clears throat> You're just waiting for this offering to come to say, hey, you know what, everything's going to be fine. Um, and if you're waiting for this loved one, I don't know who this is for, but the spirit is going to bring this up. You're waiting for them to offer cups of love, and you're giving them cups of love while they're sick, okay? And you're trying to keep your, your intuition open for this person and trying to see the better ways of doing something, and you're kind of also giving them um, advice, I'm not going to say opinions. I'm going to say advice. 
Um, but the Two of Swords can be very, it can be opinions. You can go this way or this way. But I really feel it's like advice. Are you getting rest? Are you sleeping? Did you go to the doctor? You know, things of this nature. So it looks like you're really trying to focus a lot of attention on them at this time. Um, for others of you who did, if that is not for you, um, it's just trying to figure out, still trying to figure out what is going on. Um, I've done this and I've done that and I don't understand why I'm not getting good luck at this time. Um, I keep telling you there's going to be an explosion though, my friends. I just feel it. It's kind of like a test of like your will. Okay, so you have no communication over here, but trust and within the universe. Um, and for some of you, you might not have any communication coming through a Libra. Um, the Libra um, is not communicating the way you want it to. Maybe it's a um, something that has to do with legal matters. Maybe you're waiting for legal matters. Maybe you're waiting for some kind of documentation. Um, if it's somebody who's sick over here, maybe you're waiting for the truth to come out about why they are sick, what's wrong with their head, what's wrong with their neck. Um, is it sinuses? What is going on? Um, but you're waiting for the truth of the matter and nothing has come in. And it's, I feel this worriedness for you. Um, for others of you, the truth is I haven't had any communication about this job. Where's my stuff? Why is it still going backwards? Um, but you're still trying to sit over there, all beautiful Taurus, still bringing in your prosperities. You're still making money and you're still doing the things you're supposed to do and nurturing the situation. And if this is that person who's sick, you're also nurturing them. It feels like you're very busy, very, very busy. And the truth is I'm not going to stop nurturing you. I see that you're sick. Okay, so you are really doing that. But... find the near future for the reading please you are moving you're still moving great and you're still self-sacrificing yourself to do all the things you're doing so everything you were doing in the past with holding on with the four of pentacles you're continuing to keep going after the fulfillment of wishes and it just feels like you haven't had any communication about any of this situation at all i, I don't get the king of cups nothing um <clears throat> excuse me the patience and planning and the job and stuff nothing <laughs> Right? It's just still hum humming. Still hum humming over here. Yep. No communication with the Page of Pentacles. I don't see anything coming in just yet. I'm still the same. It's like you're in a challenge mode to figure out how you're going to change this around and get your passions ignited. I've planned it. I've planned it. Now I'm taking a challenge of Page of Pentacles um, coming in and it just feels like that delay again. Um, and also with the Page of Pentacles is also talking about, um, it, yeah, just ignoring, ignoring the situation. Um, like the universe is ignoring me right now. Um, but you do have the, I know what I want and I know what I have uh, with the base chakra is, up, is right side up. So you still have your stability force coming in. There it is. King of Swords coming in. You have now the communication that you want with something or someone, and it could be a loved one coming in um, or something that you love, but you feel like you're taking the authority back um, and you're trying not to focus so much of your energy on this anymore. <laughs> That's exactly what it says, Doris. It says you're not focused on any of this anymore. It's like, I wanted my fulfillment wishes. I've been waiting. It was doing great in December. It hasn't done anything this month. And now, you know what? In February, I'm not even focused on it anymore. Whatever. I have money coming in. I'm still holding tight to what I want. And you know what? It's almost like I've kind of given up on the treasure over here. It's like... I'm not focused on it anymore because it's giving me a frigging headache, right? You're causing me sleepless nights. I'm trying to figure out how to fix things and it is not fixing anything. So, you know what? I'm not giving it that kind of attention anymore. I patiently planned it. I know I'm just leaving it alone, right? And that's exactly what you said. You said, I have what I have and I'm not focused on it anymore. It's giving me a headache. And you know what happens as soon as you do that? You get your ace of pinnacles. Now you gotta be freaking kidding me, right? You have to be kidding because now it's telling you as soon as you stop obsessing and stop worrying about it and stop doing all these things and stop retrying to, um, it's almost like you have a plan, right? And you've like patiently planned here, I patiently planned here. And then I rework the plan. 
and now the plan still isn't working. So you know what? I'm not focusing on it anymore. I don't care. Okay, just, you know what? I have my money, I'm good. And as soon as you stop focusing on it, you get the Ace of Pentacles. You gotta be kidding. Just let the universe do what the universe wants to do because that's when the determination comes in. It's almost like the universe says, I see your determination. Now is the perfect timing for you to have something. What? So maybe it was something, Taurus, you couldn't fix to begin with. Maybe it's just the way it is. Now, I'm worried, though, about this person over here, for whoever that's for. I'm going to... I'm gonna, um, Look at your person over here and make sure they're okay. Um, I am a little worried about this Pisces of Cancer Scorpio. It could be a Scorpio. I have a Scorpio. <clears throat> I'm worried about this Scorpio. We're going to call it Scorpio because I have Scorpion Knight, the Death card, and then the King. So I'll say you're Scorpio. Or Pisces because I do have the Hangman over there. So. Okay. So let's see what's how your person is. I don't know why I just felt this need. This is a person that you do love and adore. It could be a family member or somebody like this. They do seem to be kind of cold shouldering you in the near future and that's kind of why you're not listening, or why you're not, yeah, you're kind of cold shouldering you. Because you are the imprint. It is something that loves and adores you, though, but it does feel like they are. But it feels like they're going to be okay with six of wands. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, they're moving along. Okay, so it could be cancer. Like I said, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're doing fine. They're doing fine. Oh, God. Okay. They got, yeah, they're doing fine. Okay. They're doing just fine. They have the health over here. They're fine. Okay, so for any of you who are worried about them, because I did see the worry over here um, for whoever that was for, they're going to be just fine, okay? Looks like they're going to get down to the matter of the situation, especially here. So, okay. They're going to be just fine, okay? And let's see what the angels have to say. And yeah, it looks to me like as soon as you stop worrying about this, it's everything's going to be fine. And if this is somebody that you're in love with, um, like I said, don't worry about it, guys. There's, yeah, no need to worry about any of the situation. Don't worry about the, the water sign. Um, don't worry about the treasure and the fulfillment of what you wish. It just feels like it's all divinely done. I don't know. I, like I said, it feels like there's this is a setup. <laughs> this is a universal setup, okay? They're just like, let's see how Taurus is going to deal with this. <clears throat> so this is a universal setup, I call it. <clears throat> Um, there is romance, so if this is your loved one, everything's going to be fine. Um, listen to your intuition. Next few weeks, everything is going to, yes, take better action, and everything's going to start resetting itself. And, yes, your person will have recovery. Yay! Whew, I hate seeing stuff like that. And if it's, um, no, it's definitely somebody else. I don't believe it's you. <clears throat> and if it is you, there will be a recovery as well. So, okay. So, Yes. Okay, so yes, recovery in the near future. Now, they're not telling us exactly. Uh, we have the next few weeks and then recovery in the near future. So, okay. Now yeah, we got all that done. Okay, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye.